Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And tonight we have Harry trying to steal Cloud from US veterans under the guise of supporting them at the Warrior Games in San Diego in his first public appearance after his phone hack and trial in the UK. And notice that Megan is not with him, something that I'm going to address later in this video. And yes, the Warrior Games is the American event from which Harry got uh, inspiration for the Invictus Games. But you know the real word for that, right? But what I notice in this appearance in terms of body language is that Harry was quite uncomfortable and all the time he was trying to make himself look smaller. And that's strange because in other times when he's alone or more precisely uh, without Megan around, we have seen him well with not his pathetic usual posture, but with at least his shoulders broad. But I don't think that's the case here. Even in this clip, where he's trying to engage with those around him, who by the way went out of their way to be polite to Gingerbread, I have to give them that. <laughs> he reminds me of that clip of Megan talking to Serena Williams' mother and not getting the attention she wanted. Something that I have never understood is that Harry himself claims that he was saved by Meg, and, and so we are talking 2016 and onwards. But then why his previous public appearances tell a completely different story in which you could see that he was actually happy? What is the explanation to this from the Sussex squad? Well, that Harry, being still a slave to the royal family, had to fake that happiness, but inside he was in pain. So we guess that Harry is one of the best actors of our era. But now Harry, in his newfound freedom, he projects awkwardness at best. I'm telling you, this could be an event in which he could have displayed a completely different body language, but he still looked uncomfortable. And I think I have the explanation for that. After the rude awakening of realizing that the phone hack and trial testimony was a real mess, both inside the court and with the public opinion, uh, Harry's brand image has been nothing short of destroyed. Whatever credibility or sympathy that anyone could have for gingerbread has disappeared, or at least is in serious doubts. So what's the best move that his PR team can come up with? Show up at the Warrior Games, that will do it. But not only show up, also let's arrange for you to say a few words because we are sure that these battle-hardened veterans and everyone in attendance will be glad to hear a guy that is perpetually complaining about everything, claiming victimhood, and making sure that everyone knows how pathetic his life has been. Yeah, totally appropriate. So you tell me that it's not enough with attending, so you can get the pictures taken, so they also had to hear whatever words someone else wrote for him. And this is what is called clout by association. Since his image was recently torn to shreds, then these were desperate measures, so Harry would be related by association to veterans, to people who represent courage, sacrifice, grit, and everything that make countries great. Making him stand on that podium is insulting, because that's the oldest trick in the PR book, because this gives the impression that all those veterans who represent, as I said, courage, sacrifice, grit, are looking up to him. And yes, this is something that makes my blood boil, because I know exactly how this works. This is just plain manipulation, and it's sick. By this point, I pretty much doubt that Harry is planning to do something meaningful with his life. In other circumstances, this could have been a good idea. The other circumstances being when everyone or almost everyone loved Harry. But now, what kind of influence is that? After all that he has done to his family, to his grandmother, to his grandfather, and all the embarrassment done on purpose by his own book, Spare, who would want to be around him? And that's why I wanted to stress that Meghan was not around this time. Because you remember that Methane did not miss a beat when it came to steal that cloud from American veterans, right? After all, according to her truth, she's been courageous and she has made sacrifices. So veterans are exactly like her. That's what makes all this so insulting. But Megan did this back then for a reason. She still was in the we are in this together phase. 
Now, even if we are seeing them together now and then, but by no means with the same frequency as, say, one or two years back, we can confirm that they have officially separated their brands. And my prediction, especially after Harry's blunder at the Kurtz, is that we are going to see them more frequently separated. And speaking of separated, Lady C was interviewed by 60 Minutes and she was adamant on having solid proof that Harry has contacted divorce lawyers. Harry's has always been a drama queen and he's married to the empress of drama, so it's hardly surprising that they have elevated it to fever pitch. I thought the substance of his testimony was pathetic. It's stupid aside from anything else. And it shows a degree of arrogance and entitlement that I don't think will go well in any court. And also, people like Megan will always stay with the man if there is no better option. I know that they have troubles in their marriage. I understand now from six different reliable sources that Harry call in lawyers. Well, it looks like a good thing because it means that we would have to deal less and less with this kind of embarrassing moments. I'm not talking about that polo trophy moment that was pure cringe. And no, I have a heart. Every time I remember that moment, I just want to go take a nap and forget about the world for a couple hours. But, uh, well, royal commentators claim Meghan Markle wasn't meant to be on stage with Prince Harry at event, so it was very embarrassing. You think Cara Kennedy uh, broke down what's going on in this clip that was shot in May 2022 following a tournament at Santa Barbara Polo Club. The Duchess stayed up there and things got awkward as she appeared to buy for a spot in between the players, but no one was acknowledging her. She also noted that Meghan tried to grab an item from one of Harry's teammates, but he refused to give it to her. And I mentioned this scene because we haven't had more moments like this. Perhaps Megan understood the message that she should not be nagging around when it's Harry's time to shine. Final thoughts by Patricia Longworth on Twitter. I find it quite sickening that H was allowed to attend the Warrior Games and be allowed to make a speech. He deserted his own to go to the Lion King premiere to grift for work for his wife. What kind of veteran does that? And yes, that's something that I had completely forgotten. We all remember when Harry was pitching Megan for voice acting and Disney's CEO Bob Iger's face was like, how are you pitching your wife right here at a movie premiere? Yeah, that analysis was really fun to do back then. I should do a remake. My Royal Rogues, we made it to 130,000. Thank you for this. And keeping in mind that there are more than half a million Rogues that come daily to watch my videos and haven't hit the subscribe button. It's easy. It's free. You don't need to do anything else. Hit the subscribe button once. Hit the like button on every video. And that will tell me that you want to keep watching every day. The two most important words. Much love. And bless.